So you want to shoot tin lock, but guess what? You can't because you don't have expensive cinema camera which allows you to do that, right? But I have a solution for you, free and simple, which takes you like 10 seconds when you know what to do. Let's get started. You can spend 5000 bucks on a cinema camera which has one or you can watch me for a few more minutes and you'll be able to get C-Lock for your own camera just with dialing in some right settings and you'll get very very similar results to real C-Lock without any expenses or any new gear whatsoever in few seconds. Okay, so for everyone who doesn't know what C-Lock actually is, it's a flat profile which looks very ugly out of the camera, but it allows you to have so much freedom and flexibility when it comes to color correction when editing. So it allows you to get the atmosphere and the feel that you are looking for, for a certain vlog, film, whatever. Okay, so here is my camera, of course, with no log on it or whatsoever. It's a simple DSLR and none of them has log. So we have different color profiles here and the last three are user color profiles. So we, we can set them to whatever we want. And for getting the closest look to the log look, we want to get the contrast way down as far as it goes, as well as the sharpness. Well, sharpness is the biggest problem here when it comes to DSLR video in general because they look garbage just because of the over sharpening. And duration halfway to the minus so not as far as the contrast or sharpness but you can play around with this on yourself with your camera and you'll see what works the best for you just get it to the minus you know. That way we'll get a look similar to the lock and we'll be able to do so much more in the post-production so when editing and color correcting then we'll have free hands when choosing the theme and the ambience in the video itself which comes in handy pretty often okay so let's take a look at few different examples so this is a standard color profile so the basic one which turns out to be the worst then we have a landscape which is slightly better then neutral, which is the closest of all the presets that you have already on your camera. And then we have our user default, our log or whatever that we created before. And this is the best that you can use. So try to copy my settings and try it on your own. Tweak it a little depending on your camera. And you should be able to get similar result pretty easily. You just need to do what I did and you will have so much more control when you will be editing your videos, which I'll be showing you just right now. So here we have few examples on how our log footage can be edited in very different styles without any problems because it's really a flat profile. So we can edit it as freely as the log footage. I hope you've learned how, something new about how to get similar results to C-Log without actually having a C-Log. So yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like this video and also check some of my other videos like this one right here, which is about my gimbal. And these are my thoughts after 24 hours. I think it's worth watching it if you haven't already. So yeah, it's here. Just click it. There's nothing else to come in this video, so you need to click it. It's here.